Hey guys, how's it going? Troy here, Packers Corner. I uh, thought I'd make a huge, I think Sevens would say that, huge. I, I don't know if I'd do as good as him, but I got a big, big video to make today. Uh, due to a misfortunate event of my son, um, he got sick last night, wasn't feeling well last night, last, and then of course in the middle of the night he woke up not feeling well. And then this morning having 102 temperature, uh, I had to stay home today, take him to the doctor, he ends up having the flu, go figure. Um, but through all the running around town, I was able actually to stop by on the way home at the post office and pick up a giant box of PSA cards that finally came back all the way two and a half, almost three months ago. So I'm excited. I'm ready to bust the sucker open. So um, let's go ahead and crack it open and uh, see what we got. I already pulled open the, the front of this baby. Let's see how they stacked it there. Got three boxes inside there, packaged very well, very nicely. Let's pull these babies out. That's number two, three. This one doesn't have a number, so I'm going to guess that's probably, yeah, that's number one. So get that over here. Shout out to Clay. Here's my guy I'm wearing my New Blood Fight Gear t-shirt, guys. Go to New Blood Fight Gear. Uh, I think it's .com or something like that. Pick up your nice uh, MMA fighting gear t-shirts and stuff like that. Thank you, Clay. Big shout out to you. Um, let's see here. Let's get into these babies. Uh, I don't want to wait too long because I've been waiting so freaking long for them. I know for a fact that, well, these aren't all my cards. There's 46 cards here, and uh, uh, several guys sent them out with me. Um, I do not just send out anyone's cards. I just have bad fear feelings about sending everyone else's cards under the sun, so I don't open up my, my submissions to everyone, but there are a few friends that I've had for, for quite a while that I, I do help out at times. And so, uh, but anyways, I do got some cards here from John B. Free, my buddy John. I got some from uh, J2Yay Cat, 0628, my buddy Josh. Uh, my good friend Barry, who I believe is homesick today. He's got a bad back. Uh, so I hope you're feeling better, buddy. He's probably watching this video cracking up. And I believe I also have some that Josh sent me uh, from, uh, from my buddy uh, James at Fight on 5 too. So we'll show you guys these. So let's go ahead and crack these open. I can't wait any longer. We've got a ton of shout outs and everything else here. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and uh, we'll start from this side. Guys, I hope you can see these well. And uh, here we go, and I'll tell you who these are. This may be a little bit long. If it gets too long, I may break it up. I may break it up uh, the first two boxes and shoot the third box separate. So without further ado, here we go. First card I got is one of mine for my 2005 set. This is a Leaf Rookies and Stars Sterling Sharp Longevity Sunday Signature. You got a PSA 9, and it's numbered 74 out of 75. This card is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. I believe the word many of you guys say all the time, it's sick. I really don't like that word, so I'm going to say this card is so freaking healthy. Check that out. That is a beautiful card. Now, I'm not going to go that slow in all the cards, so I'm going to pick up the pace here. Next card, this is a Brett Favre Gold Longevity for my set. This got a PSA 8. Beautiful looking card. I'm going to have to look that one over why it got an 8. Next card... This is also a Brett Favre Ruby Longevity. This has got a PSA 9. Beautiful looking card. This is another Brett Favre. This is the Longevity Holofoil from, this, from the regular set, numbered out of 99. That card is beautiful. That card is beautiful. That's beautiful. What is that, Velvet? That's just flat out awesome. Next card, as you see, I sent a lot of these cards out. This one is my, okay, this is the one that I knew was going to be really dinged down. This is also a Longevity Holofoil card of Nick Collins. Uh, it got a PSA 5. On the back, it's actually numbered 10 out of 25. And the reason is, you guys probably can't see it in this, but down there on the bottom, it looks like in printing that something came up and literally rolled up the middle of the card right there on the bottom. I'm not even see if sure if you can see it. The card is so, so beautiful. If it wasn't for that, I know it would have graded probably like a 9, possibly even a 10, because everything else is incredible. But that, it, I mean, it's a major ding up on the bottom there. And I had to get it graded because of this card officially completes not just my rainbow, but every Nick Collins rookie card produced through Rookies and Stars and Rookies and Stars Longevity. So that just completed a super rainbow. So I'm happy about that one. Next one, here's my Amon Green Longevity one to match the Favre and the Nick Collins. So you can see there I sent in all three of them. This one's numbered out of 99. It got a PSA 9. But you can see there, and I'm going to shoot a video showing all these babies off because they are just, they're beautiful, fantastic. These, these cards are just incredible. 
Next card, this is a Craig Bragg, a Longevity Hollow Foil. This is actually numbered out of 25, 10 out of 25. It got a PSA 9. Another beautiful looking card. These are actually harder to find. I really didn't see many of these. So like ones like this, uh, why would they number this one to 25? They number Amon Greed to 99, and then they number Nick Collins to 25, and then they go ahead and number Favre to 99. I think this also di dibs into the idea of uh, Seven saying that, you know, if you want to collect a set of something, why not make them all the same flipping number? And why do they tick people off and screw the, the guys who want to put this kind of set together by making all the different numbers? Because you know, I'm thinking here, if there is another one of these that I don't have of the guys, the odds of me finding it if it's number 25 are ridiculous. Just finding these ones here... I lucked out on so sevens, Michael. You definitely got it right on that one, and that was before Panini. This was Leaf way before they became Panini, I believe. All right, this one is actually for my buddy Barry. This is a Wayne Gretzky SP insert from Upper Deck '94. Got a PSA eight. Shout out to you, Barry, buddy. Hope your back's feeling better. Next one. This is a Cal Ripken Jr. 1985 Tops card. Got a PSA eight. Great looking card. Shout out to Ravens fan. Eric, how you doing, buddy? Congratulations. Uh, bask in the glory of the next two weeks and all the talk about the Super Bowl. Good luck to your Ravens. Next card. This is also a, uh, this is a Barry's card. Theo Fury. Uh, this is an 89 Opeachy hockey card. Don't know anything about hockey, but he is a huge hockey fan. And so these are definitely going to be gems in here. Here's a Topps Mantle reprint from 96. Got a PSA 8. Great looking card. Some of these reprints they did a really good job on. Here's another reprint. This is actually with the coding. I got a PSA 9 of the 61 reprint of Mantle. He's a huge Mantle fan. He always talks about how he had all the originals and how he had lost some of them and then he ended up getting, he traded some of them and probably before he knew what he really even had. Here's another reprint Mantle. This is a 62 reprint. With the coating, beautiful card. These these are going to look incredible. Barry, if you don't want these, uh, I, I'd love to hang on to these for you. This is a Emmett Smith Countdown uh, from Skybox Impact, 95. I worked, at a, I worked at a card shop during 95, and I remember when these came out. All the kids were buying these. These were, these were great-looking cards at the time. Real busy-looking cards, but these insert sets were pretty neat-looking cards. So another card here. I've got to bust that one open. This one's a, 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 actually a 96 Zenith Terrell Davis. Uh, PSA 9 rookie. Shout out to all I, my Bronco fans, friends out there. Uh, man, I got a lot of Bronco fans out there. A lot of guys, a lot of guys. This is a great looking card. Here's a, a Curtis Martin Zenith rookie. Curtis Martin of, of the Patriots. This one's got a PSA 10 on it. Beautiful looking card. I don't know the numbering of these, so uh, if you guys are asking about numbering, I don't know like what the short print or not. Here's a Jerome Bettis, 93 draft pick tops, PSA 9, great looking card, great looking card. Another card here is a, ooh, this is really nice, 98 Bowman, Randy Moss, PSA 10. Beautiful looking card of the future Hall of Fame wide receiver, beautiful card. Another guy I completely love. I actually love these cards when they came out. 94 SP All Pro Isaac Bruce Holofoil. I don't even know if you can actually see the greatness of the Holofoil there. It's got a really cool look on a cross right there. Great looking card from his rookie year. And the last one in this box, a 1990 Junior Seau PSA 9 Rookie. That's a sweet looking card too. And that's the first box, box down, guys. Um, that one had a lot of berries. In fact, all these cards, I believe, were berries. And I'll put those in that box and keep mine outside on here. And uh, let's go on to the next box. Box number two.